Well, I don't think I'm having sex tonight. I mean, I'm not. I'm not going to. I think I would turn it down. You think um, you would? Are we gonna like agree? Yes, I would. I would. Let's just go for it. Eat the whole dick of life. Oh, right. The whole dick of life. Right. Eat it. Deep throat it. We met at an audition. And then we were on a cruise ship for like five months. So basically like we started a relationship on a really long honeymoon. I think it's really rare when you're trying to focus on making people laugh a lot for your career that uh, someone else really makes you genuinely laugh very often. I would say that's my big one too. You make me laugh a lot. I realize that I don't want to put all my emotional baggage, whatever, onto you. If I spark with someone, I want to be able to pursue that without feeling guilty. Trusting you to like go out and be intimate with somebody else and still want to come back feels like a, a deeper level of intimacy. Use protection. You've kind of said like, don't fall in love, but I'm not sure if that's a ground rule. <laughs> I know, right? You can't stop that. I think we need to tell each other every time we go on a date. It shouldn't conflict with our own dating. Oh yeah. We have a date One night. One day night. Like, what if you find someone you want to date for a while? I don't know. I don't know either. I feel like I just, I feel like that's just something <laughs> we have to talk about. I don't want you to be unhappy. I hope you don't find someone you like better. But I also hope that my emotional needs, you know, don't get in the way of you being able to fully live and realize yours. Because you know, we're thinking about marriage, even and forever is a long time. Do you think this is going to improve our relationship or tear us apart? Well, improve, <laughs> I hope. All right, so I've been talking to somebody on OkCupid. I just don't know what to do now. It reminds me of middle school, like, <laughs> where it's like you're just talking to strangers on AOL Instant Messenger. JD is a little bit more excited to go on dates. Yes, I gotta get out there. He's got a date for this weekend already, and I did feel like kind of a stab of jealousy. Leanne and I are starting an open relationship. What do you think about that? Uh, whatever makes you guys happy. I got like at least three people I'm talking to and I've already like got a date for Sunday night. I almost feel guilty going on a date with somebody who's not Leanne. It's kind of exciting. I'm just like worried that Leanne's doing this to overcome her own insecurities or anxieties. I want this to be something that's fun that we're doing kind of together. My first date. <laughs> you excited? You don't seem excited. Is trepidation the right word? We haven't like talked about having sex with other people. I think I would turn it down. You think um, you would? Are we gonna like yes, agree on? Yes, I would, I would. Hey, I, you I would. yell at the camera. I don't think either of us got into this because we're sexually unsatisfied. At least I'm not. Oh. <laughs> I'm, he shrugged. Well, I, mean, right. I, I, I mean, like, whatever, sex it, is... It wasn't just to have sex, is what right. I was Absolutely. saying. Katie has a date tonight. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm supposed to be getting dates for myself, and instead, I'm inviting my friends to hang out more. <laughs> what if you get slayed tonight? How's that make you feel? Did he just came back from his date? My first date was very neutral. There wasn't like a spark or whatever or a connection that I felt. I realized that that's, I think, what I was hoping would happen. It's a reality that, you know, attraction occurs and, and people have been pretending like it doesn't for a long time. Sex isn't that huge of a part of a relationship. I think a lot of people will disagree with you. It is important, but it's, it's just a small part of life. You're speaking now how you want to be. Yeah, that's how you manifest that shit. Got a date on Friday with a guy from OkCupid. I'm feeling good about this one. Leanne's finally getting her toes wet, I guess. And uh, I don't know, she seems pretty excited about it. So that makes me happy. Leanne yeah, has a date next week on Wednesday. Tell me about your date. <laughs> she has good grammar. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> I have a date tonight. I know. I'm pretty excited. Are you? You're hiding in pillows right now. The first one I kind of was like, just jumping into it because I was like, oh, I gotta go on a date with somebody. <laughs> this one I feel a little bit more excited about. These are the good blue jeans, right? No, those are those weird blue jeans you have where the crotch is all rubbed out. Like, I hope it doesn't like go really well where it's like we like want to hang out for a long time and then it's like, oh man, I have to wake up in four hours. So you're hoping your date doesn't go well? 
No, wait. How do you feel about this? I keep waiting for bad feelings to start bubbling up and for me to start to get worried, to get jealous, to get insecure. And I just don't feel that way. Uh, I just dropped JD off on his date. That jealousy that I was talking about not feeling, it hit me. Just this feeling of like, you're not supposed to have romantic fun without me. Is it possible to be open and happy? Like we were just talking nonstop and like really getting along. And we ended up like kissing at the end of the night. I don't see you, dude. But that's cool. I was envious, jealous. Yeah, it's smart, it was fun to talk with him. I feel like we just connected on a lot of things. Such as? Life philosophies. What's your life philosophy? Going on a date tonight? No matter what happens, this will be an adventure and I, JD had. Finally went on one, like kind of, cause I was like, well, he's, I gotta go. And we didn't have like a, a sexual spark, at least for me, but she was so smart and so kind. Talked for five hours. I connected with her and I wanna talk to her more. She doesn't actually live here, so I didn't wanna get sexual with her. I just don't know that I'm interested in dating someone else. I, I, I do like the idea, you know, if I could, if I spark with someone, that'd be great, but I don't wanna put on my, my plate trying to find people to spark with. Are you hoping I'd have a sexier time? I don't know, like, I guess I was worried you'd like come home and just be like, never again. She went on that first date. I felt that was kind of like really the major sense of relief for me where I was just like, okay, it's not just me going on dates. It's not something she's doing for me. Like this is something that we can both explore. I had a good time. Like I don't really want to go pursue others. I feel like you wish that I was kind of more into being promiscuous with others because you want to be. I have like this fear that like, you're just doing all this for me and I don't like that idea. Why is that a bad idea? Why can't <laughs> I do something for you? But are you saying it's true? You're no. Okay. When I say something like, hey, I'm feeling insecure about that, JD's just hears me, holds me a little closer and pays a little more attention. It feels like we've actually been just more affectionate. I love you. Who are you? <laughs> I'm looking for evidence that this is the wrong way to go. It doesn't feel wrong. I feel like I'm falling more in love with JD, you know? We're just having easier days. When we are together, it's better. We keep communicating and like really just sharing and it somehow has made us even closer. My first, second date in an open relationship. We've been texting all week. Well, JD that he's allowed to do whatever he wants with his date. I don't expect things to get uh, hot and heavy. JD, if I was gonna be gone, he's like, I'm gonna bring a date over to our place to watch TV, which everybody knows is code for, you know, touch each other's hearts. Man, I don't want him doing it in my bed. So I told JD, I was like, I didn't love it if we could just make our place off limits. He was like, okay. On uh, a second date yesterday, we went and got some like pizza and then had some coffee. I don't know what is it. I'm, I'm trying to get out of it necessarily. Where is this going to lead? Like, cause like I went on two dates now and it's like, you're probably going on a third date. And it's just like, well, where's it going to go to? Do you know what you want? No idea. Doesn't seem like either of us are that super enthusiastic about it. But I still like the idea of like being open about it and like and and welcoming like a positive experience. The idea that we're just open to love as it comes. That's great. I think we kind of realized that we're doing this kind of thing as an adventure together. That fear of falling for someone else isn't really there anymore. I'm about to go on date number three with this guy. It's kind of the point where it's like date three. I'm like, well, what does short-term dating mean? What are his expectations? Just talked and enjoyed each other's company. I don't know what's gonna happen. You got any dates since your last one? Going out to a wedding by myself tomorrow. Yeah, you gonna pick someone up? I go by myself and I'm kind of have my eye open and I was dancing and it's thought, well, is it gonna happen? And no, you know, it was like, I could do this. I just don't need to. I don't know, we're coming to the end of this month-long journey. It's not really not that exciting anymore. I feel like my partner is more attentive and more loving and more interested in me, sexually and otherwise. <laughs> Experiment to success, I guess. I've been getting out more, meeting new people. This is exactly the opposite of what I feel like I was taught is Safe. I think we're both pretty content with how things turned out and how things are going. I definitely don't feel like I'm seeking too much out anymore.
After the first couple weeks and like going, each of us went on a date, I went on a few dates, and it kind of just lost, <laughs> it kind of just lost its like. Uh, I feel like we lost, like it was frenzy and trepidation. I feel like we've both kind of come to this comfortable position of, yeah, it's great, we're, we'll stay in an open relationship, but uh, we're not gonna like actively seek out dates. I just keep falling more in love with you. I think jealousy comes from low self-esteem and I feel like I have higher self-esteem now. You just have to communicate and respect your partner and be good to other people. I, I just trusted you to be there on this adventure with me. So even though it was scary, I was like, we'll come out the other side. Okay. And we did. We came out stronger.